You are dating someone secretly. You seem like the girl that would like to be the class president. <laughs> you don't tolerate BS. Your first kiss was from one of your guy friends. You've thought about quitting YouTube. You're getting a belly button piercing. You have more friend issues than you show. You cry a lot. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be answering assumptions about me while I get ready for my dance show. So I put this on my Instagram story and you guys submitted some assumptions. And I'll basically be telling you guys if they're true, if they're false, kind of like explaining and talking about them. Um, hi. Hi mom, I'm filming. Oh. Do you want to say hi? Sure. Hi. <laughs> Just getting ready to watch Nicole's fourth Yay. show. Four out of four, baby. Four out of four. Okay, have fun. Thanks, Mama. Bye. So yeah, while I talk about that, I have to put on a full face of makeup. This is going to be stage makeup. It's very full out. I'm going to look like a whole different person by the end of this video. But I screenshotted a bunch. So we're just going to be chatting today. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get started. By the way, there's a mirror right here. So if you're wondering where I'm looking, it's at this mirror. And I'll kind of give you guys like a tutorial too, because like, why not? First, we're going in with the Laura Mercier Canvas Primer. And the first First assumption for this video is you've never used the auto drive option in your car from shining.coley true i have not used it first of all i'm low-key scared to do it and then second of all i don't really go on the freeway and that's like what auto drive is for or like at least the one that i have on my car so no i haven't used it because i only really drive to school or like close places to get food for myself so there hasn't really been like a chance to but i have driven on the freeway before so maybe the next time i'll try it out and i'll let you guys know how it goes now going in with the laura mercier tinted moisture Moisturizer. Are you going to cut your hair? I may or may not have an appointment at the salon tomorrow, but I don't know. <laughs> You're really hard on yourself, but tell other people not to be. Yeah, I would say this is kind of true. I feel like it also works with other stuff too. Cause like whenever I preach about stuff on my channel and say like, don't be hard on yourself or like stay positive. Obviously I'm not an expert at all of this stuff that I'm saying. Like I'm a teenage girl and I'm trying to learn all of these stuff as I grew up as well. So yeah, I am hard on myself and that's just like a natural human thing. And obviously I'm trying not to do that. And I obviously don't want you guys to do it as well. So I think as we all grow up, I'm just trying to learn as I go. You are dating someone secretly. I got this one a lot <laughs> and the answer is no, it's false. I am single and I'm not really looking for anything. I definitely said this on my channel like probably a few videos back, but like I'm just gonna let things happen naturally. But I think right now like, I'm okay being single, you know? You love shoes. Yes, I do. Oh my goodness. By the way, I'm using Benefit Concealer, Boing Concealer, but I don't know. Lately, I've been like really into shoes. Part of me, it's kind of like I want to stop wearing my Air Forces every single day. So I've been purchasing some new shoes off of like Goat and stuff and I've been having so much fun just like pairing outfits like starting with my shoes and then making outfits it all started when i bought the nike dunks i got the pandas and then i got the gym reds and then my latest shoe I got are the Converse CDGs. I literally love all my new shoes and I probably won't stop anytime soon. So that's like my new obsession right now, buying shoes. You get scared driving. Um, false. I haven't really been scared of driving for a while now. The only time I was like scared was when I had my permit, like when I first started driving, but that went away pretty quick. Like you get used to it really fast. But I've had my license for about six months now. So I definitely say I'm like 100% comfortable driving by myself, which is great. You seem like the girl that would like to be the class president. <laughs> I can totally see where you're coming from. Because yes, I have thought about it actually, like running for class president and stuff. And I would say like in a perfect world, I would totally love to be class president. But I think for me, adding such like a big job onto my plate with other stuff, it'd be like too much. So so I don't think I'm going to run for class president, but I definitely love being in student council and will probably be in it for my junior and senior year. Powder, I'm using this Ojai one and then this fluffy brush. You've been working as a dancer since a young age. True. I started working when I was 10 years old. I got signed to an agency and then started going on jobs. And yeah, <laughs> that you're way taller than you seem. You know, it's actually funny because I've met some of you guys in person and a lot of you guys have said, wow, you're so much taller than I thought. So I guess I come off shorter than I am. I'm 5'4", if that gives you like any reference. But I think what it is, is like when I vlog, you only really see like my top half of my body and not really my legs. And I would say I have long legs. So I guess I come off as short, but I'm 5'4". So I think that's like average height, I guess. You're always smiling. I mean, I wouldn't say always, but I would say for the most part, people have said that I don't have an RBF, which I think is good, right? <laughs> I mean, obviously I'm not like, ding. 24 7 but i think you know what i mean brow this is the benefit brow setter i love this product you put a lot of pressure on yourself to be great and sometimes that stresses you out very true i feel like teenagers especially at this age it's kind of hard not to put so much on your plate and like expect you to be on top of your stuff 24 7 so obviously it's like really stressful when you have a lot going on and then you have like so much pressure not only built up from like other people but like for yourself too you know so yeah that definitely will stress me out a lot but i just try to remember to take things day by day and remind myself that you're going to be able to do it you're 
parents were high school sweethearts. No, they met in college. My mom was a freshman in college and then my dad was a senior in college. So they just like missed by a few years. You don't tolerate BS. True. Before I talk about this, I'm gonna go in with my Bare Minerals eyeshadow palette and we have to do a smoky eye. Okay, so I feel like this year <laughs> I've dealt with a lot of BS. I'm just gonna say it. I don't know why, but I just experienced a lot this year. And I feel like I learned where to put my time towards and like who to prioritize in my life. Cause like why deal with BS? Like there's no point. If things or people are unnecessary, like they don't deserve you or your time. Your first kiss was from one of your guy friends. True. You're on Snapchat 24 seven. I would say like low key. That sounds so bad. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna say no because definitely not 24 seven obviously, but I am on it. Like it's one of my most used apps. I will say during like middle school, I was on it a lot more, which is kind of weird. Cause now I'm in high school and you'd think high school I'd be on it more, but I feel like middle school is like, Oh, keep your streaks going. Or like, Oh, I have to snap back really quick. But now it's kind of just like Snapchat is what I use to have conversations with people or like post on my story and like swipe up on other people's, you know, but in conclusion, no, I'm not on it 24 seven, but I do use it a lot. You stopped reading because you don't have enough time. Oh my gosh, true. If you guys know, a few months ago, like last year, August, 2021, that's when I started reading. And like, I was on a roll. I would read like five books a month. It was insane. But start of this year, I kind of like stopped reading basically because I've been so busy. I am still keeping up with Shelf Love, which is my book club. We read one book every single month. So I'm still keeping up with that. But compared to like how many books I would read last year, it's definitely decreased. I mean, it's sad because I'm not reading as much as I want to. And like, I definitely miss how many books I would read every single month. But then at the same time, I don't want reading to be like, oh, you have to read this many books every single month. I still want it to be like a therapeutic kind of self-care type of thing. So I'm hoping when school and like everything else kind of dies down summertime, I'm definitely going to get back on my reading. People at your school treat you differently because you're an influencer. Unfortunately, true. <laughs> and I say unfortunately because sometimes it's like... <sighs> attention like bad attention that i don't want sometimes people just think it's funny to, like make jokes but they're not actually funny but there has been like extra attention put on me because of what i do which is not my favorite but it's just like immature people trying to be funny you love udon and ramen type noodles facts noodles are probably my favorite food literally any type pho ramen udon pasta i will eat it i love noodles you cry a lot <laughs> true how'd you know i'm a very emotional person so Crying is kind of just like a normal thing for me, but I think it's great. Not, I mean, I'm not saying like I love crying, but like I think it's a great way for me to get my emotions out. You know, when you have like a really good cry and then you feel great after, like those are the cries I love. So yeah, I do cry a lot, but thankfully I have a great support system. So I'm very fortunate and blessed to have that. You've thought about quitting YouTube. No, I have not. I've thought about taking breaks and stuff, but like even a break would be like one, two weeks max, <laughs> but quitting YouTube, not really. I still love doing it and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. So I hope to be making videos for a while. You like every sponsor you do. True. I try to only work with brands and promote stuff that I genuinely authentically love. Cause like, why would I talk about something to you guys and tell you to like, oh, buy this if I didn't actually like or use the product, you know? So yeah, when it comes to sponsorships, I actually use the product that I'm talking about. You have a lot of energy for yourself and those around you, but it also runs out quickly. Peep Sadie barking in the background. <laughs> I would say this is true. I would say naturally, ooh, I think naturally I'm a very energetic and like outgoing person. And usually I can like maintain that. But you know, there's always some days where like my energy just runs out really quickly and I'm just not as like extroverted which is totally fine like everyone has those days so yeah sometimes it is like that like my energy runs out really quickly you're getting a belly button piercing i don't know <laughs> Maybe. You cry when you get a bad grade. Definitely. I've definitely cried over grades and stuff. School can be so stressful. Like, can we talk about that for a second? Like, why is school so stressful? But yeah, you know, it's like super discouraging when you like think you did good on a test, but then you didn't do as good as you thought. So I've definitely cried over grades and stuff, but I don't know. I think that's just like a natural student thing. You don't often argue with your parents. True. I was really fortunate to grow up with a good relationship with my parents. So like, since I was younger, we've had really good communication. And I think that's like key to a parent and kid relationship or like any relationship in general. So I think because I communicate with my family and we've built trust over all these years, it's less likely to argue with them and have fights. You have lots of guys on your best friends list. I can actually check right now. I have four, but they're all my friends. I'm not talking to any of them. And Maddie's my first, like I don't have a boy as my first best friend on snap. Everyone likes you. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> I think with being on social media and stuff, I've learned very quickly that you cannot please everyone. You just can't get everyone to like you. And that's like, you know, it makes sense, but that's totally fine. Obviously there's going to be people who don't like you, but then there's also going to be people who do like you. So something that I've learned is like, you don't have to be a people pleaser 24 seven. There's so many people in this world. I'm telling you, not every single person is going to like you. You have more friend issues than you show. Also true. I would say what you guys see on my channel is a very great representation of what my real life looks like. You know, I'm never trying
trying to fake anything on camera or like post anything that's not authentic to my life but at the same time i don't show everything that happens so like of course you guys don't know all the stuff that happens behind the camera like with friends and relationships and stuff but i think that's okay because i choose what to say on my channel and when it comes to like friends or people that i'm not close with anymore i choose not to talk about it on camera because i feel like it's only really between me and that person so i don't feel like it's anyone else's business to know about it so that's why this assumption is true is because i don't talk about or explain everything that happens with my relationships with people and i'm going to continue to do that because obviously there's a privacy reason and also like people are allowed to move on how they need to and this is just how i choose to deal with it time management for you is hard sometimes also true i feel like it's hard for everyone is it not like when you have a lot of stuff going on it's kind of like very stressful managing your time for me all you can do is just try your best like it's okay if you don't complete everything on your to-do list again how i was saying like take it day by day it's kind of like the same thing like just do what you can do your best and that's all that matters you're scared of spiders oh my gosh yes <laughs> I don't know why they gross me out so much, but they do. I hate spiders. I'm sorry, but I just do. I just, I don't like to think about it. You are gonna crush junior year. Back shoddy. I don't know why. I'm just really excited for junior year. Actually, I do know why. Sophomore year, not gonna lie, has been, you know, not my favorite. Definitely my hardest year, just like people-wise academic wise yeah a lot happened this year but we're gonna move on and i think junior year i'm gonna thrive i don't know i just feel like i'm getting a lot of good vibes from junior year so i hope that next year will be good you pay for most or all things you want and need true i am fortunate enough to make my own money and purchase stuff that i would like to buy of course my parents still buy me things and pay for stuff but i am able to buy what i want or need so i'm very grateful for that oh my gosh i haven't been telling you what products i've been using so i finished my eyeshadow and then i used the bahama mama for bronzer and then bare minerals blush and then now I'm going to put on some lashes. These are Ardell Wispies. I don't know. I just bought them from Target. Next assumption, you get things done right away. See, I would love to say yes, but the truth is no, not all the time. Obviously, I love being productive and getting things done as soon as I can, but I also procrastinate like every other human being on this planet. I also struggle with procrastination at times, like scrolling on TikTok for hours. Yeah, I do that. I get whatever I need to done on time, but like sometimes it's not like right away, you know? You're not going to college or university. Well, the plan right now is to go. I really want to go to a four-year after high school, but who knows? Maybe during senior year, I'll have some life-altering change. I don't even know what I'm saying. What I'm trying to put into words is that like decisions can change and like maybe senior year, I won't want to go to college, but we will see. Next assumption, you don't cook. True, and it's literally so embarrassing. This summer, I'm learning how to cook. By the way, I'm trimming my lashes. Like if you're confused on like what I'm doing, I'm trimming my lashes to make them more my size. So that's why I have scissors out. You started using mascara when you were 12. This one's so specific, wow. But no, I actually didn't start wearing makeup on a daily basis until this year during middle school and like my freshman year i didn't really want to wear makeup every single day or like get into the habit of it and even now this year like i don't wear makeup every single day but my mom kind of engraved in my head from like a young age that you don't need makeup to feel pretty which i'm very glad that she did because while makeup is super fun i'm also okay with just going out with my natural fresh face putting on lashes is not the easiest thing like I don't know if that looks good or not, but we're just gonna go with it. You are much more nonchalant off camera. Honestly, I feel like I'm a lot more calm in my videos than like compared to real life. Not that I'm like so much more different off camera, but this kind of goes with the next assumption. You're crazier off camera than on and a lot less kid friendly, but not in a bad way. So I would say like, yeah, that's kind of true. I think my friends would probably say like, I'm a little crazier off camera. But again, what you see in my videos is just like totally me. This one's literally already falling off. Next one, you're an impulsive buyer. Surprisingly, no. When it comes to money, and stuff i would rather save for my future and like for bigger purchases than like spend all my money now but i would say no i'm not really an impulsive buyer oh my god i'm lucky running out of time i need to hurry up next is eyeliner you're going to explore a lot of places or go on some cool vacations this summer yes i am actually we have a few trips planned and i'm not going to spoil where we're going but just get prepared for summer vlogs this summer is gonna be so much freaking fun like i am so excited you were already good at editing definitely no <laughs> I started vlogging like consistently when I was what like 12 or 13 maybe whatever age I was in sixth grade But I was definitely not the best editor when I started I started on iMovie and then now I'm using Final Cut Pro But I've self-taught myself everything that I know I've kind of just like figured it out as I've gone through the years So like if you watch old videos, which please do not 
<laughs> do that. The editing is definitely very more basic, obviously, to what I have now. But I will say, like, for doing it for so many years now, I've gone used to my editing software. I kind of already know how I'm going to edit the video when I film it. So, like, right now, in a second, there's going to be a transition. And then I'm going to put a sound effect and then also, like, the next assumption on the screen. That's how I'm editing this video. You don't like when you vlog at school. Oh, my gosh. My lash is going in my eye. I'm not saying that this is true, but I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I feel like I haven't been posting as many school vlogs as, like, I usually do. During freshman year of middle school, I feel like I would post a lot of school vlogs, but this year I've kind of, like, died down a little bit. I mean, I still love vlogging at school and posting them. I feel like they're some of my favorite videos that I have on my channel, but not gonna lie, school hasn't been the most fun place. Of course, I have, like, my close friends, and that's who I put in the vlogs, but there are other people that are just, like, not my favorite who I go to school with, so that kind of explains why I don't vlog at school as much, but I still love making school content. I wouldn't say this assumption is true, but if you were kind of wondering why I don't vlog at school as much, that gives you a little more reasoning. Next, I'm going in with highlighter. This is Benefit Cookie Highlighter. You are often stressed, but just don't talk about it. First part is very true. I am definitely often stressed, but I feel like I do talk about it on my channel. I'm very open with expressing all of my emotions. Like, you guys will see the happy parts of my life, and then also, like, me explaining I had a breakdown a few minutes ago, you know? So I would say this assumption is, like, half true, half false. You're okay with people coming and going in your life and use it to grow. Very true. I feel like I don't have to explain this one. Like, you said it perfectly. I've always assumed that you're one of those people who are just naturally good at everything. Okay, well, thank you. I feel like that's a compliment, but I would say that's kind of false. <laughs> but you know who is naturally good at everything? My brother, Christian. He can do anything, I swear. If we're talking, like, sports-wise, put me in a football game or, like, a basketball game, I will get trampled. Like, there's just no shot for me. But, like, Christian, he can learn things really fast, and he's just, like, naturally good at stuff. I guess for me, like, you could teach me something. I feel like I'd pick it up easily, but I don't know about, like, naturally good at stuff. You wear socks to bed. I personally do not. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe, like, in the winter, if it's cold or something, but normally i do not i assume that you hate fast food false i love fast food you secretly sneak out <laughs> this one's funny no i've never snuck out of my house there's no need to you know you don't want to go back to the philippines false oh my gosh me and my family would love to go back to the philippines if you guys didn't know we went there december 2019 i think yeah it was like right before 2020 but we had the most amazing time i vlogged the whole thing if you guys want to watch those vlogs but we love the philippines and we'd love to go back hopefully in like a few years i don't know how soon we could go but but hopefully soon okay last makeup product go-to makeup and it's a lip stain we have to wear dark red lipstick and i'm just gonna not talk for a little bit while i finish this because i don't want to mess it up so let me do this done and last assumption you barely get any sleep lol and that's also true <laughs> If you guys have seen the vlogs, I'm pretty sure aware of my terrible sleep schedule. <sighs> Some nights I literally get two hours of sleep and then I go to school and then dance. It's so bad, but hopefully I'll fix it soon. I always say that and it never gets fixed, so I don't even know why I say that. Okay, but anyways, I'm done with the makeup and I'm done answering all these assumptions. Thank you to everyone who submitted something. I actually only have like 20 minutes, so I have to do my hair and then pack my bags and make sure I have everything. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and comment down below. Subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and go cop some positivity pill merch. I will see you guys back in another video. I love you guys so so much. Stay positive. Bye. Yeah.